Morning everybody. What's up everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher and welcome. Come on into the garage. Have a seat. Let's shoot the shit for a minute. I got a final take. This one's gonna be quick, dirty, and in a hurry, guys, because honestly, there isn't a whole lot to say about this. I wasn't even gonna probably do this video, but I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give everybody what they want, man. So this is gonna be my final take on the Mini Elementum, or I like to call it the Midget Mentum. This thing is effing small, guys. Uh, I think it's a one point, 1.8 inch blade. It's like, uh, here, I'll tell you in a second here. Uh, just under four and a half inches total in length. It is very, very small. I got the brass version because, well, I'm kind of a brass guy. Uh, it's basically kind of a stone wash blade. It is a steel frame -a lock knife, which is weird. And it's got the best blade of steel and elementum that it's probably ever had, other than they do do an S35VN. This is a 14C28N version. And it's a little flipper. And it's fantastic. It flies out of there, man, as long as you don't put no pressure on that bar, right? I mean, and it's got action. It drops until you're there because you got to grab that bar and that bar stops it. So if you grab it at the pivot, it'll bop right down. Um, this is literally the smallest knife I've ever had, man. Now, it's a key ring knife. They call it a key ring knife. It comes with a key ring. I would not put it on a key ring. I think that this knife right here is best suited for your fifth pocket. Not gonna lie, and if you're and if, if you're in any doubt, you haven't seen my unboxing video. This is the regular Elementum, and this is the Mini Melon. You see, if I put it on the like, I can literally just set the tab there and set it on there. That is why I call it the Midget Melon. That's not a Mini. That's like surpassed Mini and went to the next stage. Kind of like in Spaceballs when Spaceball One, the ship went plaid. Okay, they didn't go hyper speed they went plaid that's kind of what happened here we went past mini we went to midget um the smallest knife i literally owned until i got this knife was the civivi bow and this is a brad zinker design i actually love this knife man for a, a little backup knife a little gentleman's carry it's a, this thing is is a pretty damn good knife man but this is literally the smallest knife of own. This is smaller than the Elementum. Not by a lot, but it is. And I, I mean, we're talking like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just the mini Elementum, man. It's just tiny, but I think it makes a great fifth pocket knife. It's very sharp. Um, it's great for opening packages, shit like that. I don't have any paper around right now. It's kind of weird. Um, it really is perfect for opening mail packages, cutting a little tiny like strings off shirts, or maybe it's you know some small rope or something. It's very capable for what it is, honestly. But I would not carry this on my key ring. I, I mean that's just me. I'm not a. I'm not a uh, like a. Oh, I didn't get the. Didn't get it off the lock bar there. But um, it's really hard, man. It's it's a small knife. Oh, my hand got in the way. Yeah, it's it's just tiny, but it's very functional. I mean, it's a two-finger knife, right? That's two fingers. That's good. You can put a finger up on the kind of the kind of the flipper tool and get like a half of the half of the next finger on there, and it's pretty sturdy. I wouldn't, you know, it's not not an actual finger tool, so be careful. But I mean, you could choke up if you need to choke up. Uh, it, this is the way I hold it most of the time. You know, like, you want to open a package, uh, open some mail, uh, you know. I mean, if you want to get in a, the old Friday night gas station fight, you're going to have to feed it way down there in the hand, you know what I mean? Taking on Lefty down there, you're going to lose. He's got that Batman knife. Um, all in all, it's pretty cool, man. It really is. It's like, it's the, it, this is the great little, hey, I, you know, I'm in public. 
somebody needs a sharp tool real quick, um, pull it out. Absolutely nobody is going to scream, oh my god, he's got a knife, you know. No, they, they might laugh when they see it and like, oh, that's damn cute, you know what I mean. But this thing is, it is razor sharp, man. It It's sharp. And it's good steel, 14C28N on this little guy. That's that's pretty amazing. Um, anyway, that's it, guys. I call it the Midget Menum, uh, the Mini Elementum. I think this is a little past Mini, honestly. Uh, mini would have been about half the size of this. I mean, overall, like, maybe the size of the handle, you know? This is not even, I mean, I guess all the way out to the size of the handle. Um, I was thinking, you know, like blade out here, you know, a little thicker, a little taller. Um, apparently not. This is what they call the mini Elementum. And it is honestly, absolutely great fist pocket knife. It really is. That, that's where I'd put it. That's where I'd use it. Uh, that's where I've used it. I would not put it on a keychain. It's got a little weight. Yeah, I just I don't I don't picture this as being a keychain knife. I picture this as a small fifth pocket and a true fifth pocket. Like some fifth pockets I've had, you could actually lose this in the bottom of it. Um, honestly, uh, my son wants to put a lanyard on it because he think it'd be funny. I think it would too. So I told him go ahead and start making one. Um, so we'll see, maybe you'll see it in pictures on Instagram with a, uh, one of these big old skulls on it that he makes. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. If you like the video, give it, the, give it the old thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it the old thumbs down. Hit me in the comments, let's shoot the shit. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, what you wanna see, uh, what you're waiting for, what you're gonna get, what you wanna see people get so you can find out if you like it, whatever, man. Hit me on Instagram, shoot the shit, um, whatever. Uh, if you guys want to send me knives to check out, that's cool, but please uh, hit me on Instagram first so we can talk about shipping and, and I know who's sending the knife and I know, you know, I got it squared away to where I make sure I don't mix it up with anything else in case I get anything else. Not that a bunch of people are sending me knives, but I just feel safer that way that I'm going to get your product and I'm going to be able to send your product back to you in the condition that I received it in. Um, anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. I hope it's fan effing fabulous for you. Um, get out there and do something positive for yourself. Do something positive for somebody else. Make yourself happy. Make somebody else happy. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.